Once a lazy person said to Gautam Buddha, Munivar I am very lazy, so I cannot do what I want to do in my life, so show me a way. Buddha asked the man, do you believe that you are lazy? The person said yes, Munivar not only me but the people of my whole village say that I am lazy. Buddha says to that person, do you have any proof that you are lazy? That person replied yes. Then Gautam Buddha asks, Do you have any proof of this? Then that person says, Munivar I know that exercise is good for my health. But I cannot even exercise because my laziness does not allow me to get up early in the morning. Do you know what laziness is? Buddha said, I do not know what laziness is. He said, Whatever is there is very bad. Buddha said first of all you should understand this. That whatever comes naturally has some use. It is not bad. Or good. Laziness is a feeling. It is a thought. Which we generate unconsciously from ourselves. The man asked but how is it generated? It happens. There are two reasons for this. First physical and mental when we look at any of our food. There is no life force inside the body. Laziness is created in our body. Because this body moves with energy. And as it is given, it thinks and behaves. Another reason for laziness inside our body is sitting in a wrong way. And sleeping in the wrong way, walking in the wrong way, we never pay attention to whether our sitting, lying and sleeping position is correct or not. If we look at Buddhist monks, we will find that when they sit, their spinal cord is absolutely straight. It occurs. Whenever he sleeps there is no pressure on any part of his body. And when he walks, then there is no pressure in any part of his body. There is a rhythm between his two steps. The third reason for laziness at the physical level is not being able to get up early in the morning. Buddha smiles after hearing this and says that you can get up early in the morning. When you set the right time to sleep at night. So every person has to follow discipline. Because discipline brings balance in our life. Most of the people consider discipline as bad because they feel discipline binds them whereas the truth is that discipline does not bind us, but frees us. Does. Then the person asks the Buddha. But where should we start with this? Like eating properly, sitting or lying down, walking early in the morning says Buddha. That whatever you are doing at the moment. Start it from now do it carefully first you understand laziness at the level of mind otherwise in most of the situation's mind, is there? The reason is our old misconceptions. We think we were not able to do it. Did the same thing last time as well. This time also we will not be able to do it when we do not consider ourselves capable. So laziness automatically dominates us. The second reason is that sometimes it happens to support small and lazy people. That laziness is not in us. But it comes in us because of other people. It happens because we associate with lazy people. Yes it is absolutely true I have also experienced this then Buddha said the third reason is lack of clarity of mind. Suppose you are lost in a forest, and it is evening, and you do not know in which direction your house is. So what happened will you lie down lazily or will you find a way to find your way home? The man said that I will go out in search of home. Then he said if even after trying a lot you do, not find the way home then you what will you do the person said I will still keep looking for it as I will have no other option. There are many options. If one has only one option, then his mind will be completely blank. 
if you are not able to exercise. So the reason for this is the lack of clarity in your mind. You do not see the diseases caused by those diseases which you will face in the future. You cannot feel the pain caused by those diseases. Further Gautama Buddha said that laziness the fourth reason is this. That you don't feel like doing any work, suppose you are going somewhere on the road. And after walking a long distance you get tired. And this is happening when you don't feel like walking. When you see a lion running after you. Will you stop there even in such a situation because of your laziness? Otherwise understand that laziness prevents you from doing that work. There is no great reason to do that. Then that person said to Buddha, Thank you Munivar, I have understood the whole game of laziness. Lord Gautam Buddha says to that lazy person, Always remember one thing of mine, where it is clear or there is a big reason to do something. Laziness cannot happen. Friends, laziness is the biggest enemy of man because laziness can never progress in life. Laziness makes a man so useless that he hates hard work and always wants to remain in a state of rest. For this, spectacles of hard work are needed, which a lazy person does not have. Laziness takes the lazy person into its grip day by day, as a result of which day by day, he starts running away from hard work. She goes. After making friendship with hard work, this enemy automatically ends. Hard work is the key to success, only a hard-working person can understand this. Because he knows very well the importance of hard work that hard work is his true friend. And with the help of this friend he will always progress in his life instead of giving up on. That work he tries again and again more hard till he succeeds in doing that work. And on the contrary, a lazy person tries to do some small work. Man also needs other people because he is trapped in the web of laziness like this. That he just needs rest i.e. he will not want to come out of his comfort zone. Friends, a lazy person never understands the importance of hard work. Nor is the importance of time. Due to this he ruins his whole life. And in the end he is left with nothing but regrets whereas a hard-working person understands the importance of time. Trying to achieve his goal by working hard day by day. That's why you should always keep friendship with hard work and enmity with laziness. Friends, I hope that you have got to learn a lot from this story. You can also overcome your laziness with the solution given by Gautam Buddha.